Next up, we have hooks. You know what hooks rhymes with? What? Ducks. Ducks. Quack, quack. quack, quack. Um, three different kinds of hooks I use for the commercial silverfish sort of fishing or springtime commercial fishing um, when we're talking about the rigs that I've been tying in this latest series. Um, F1 pellets, F1 maggots and super LWGs. Now, for me, F1 maggot is the more finesse one. It's a little bit lighter. Tend to use it for single bait, single maggot, single caster, little tiny bits of a worm head maybe, um, but lightweight and normally that's tied on 08 or 010 fluorocarbon for me. Probably going to go out of fashion in my fishing next couple of months. We're at back end of Feb at the minute, so might be taking a back seat until sort of October. Next step up, F1 pellets. Wider gape. A um, little bit stronger, really nice for stepping up to double or bigger baits as well. Two maggots, double caster, bit of a bigger bit of worm on it if you want to for them skimmers. So F1 pellet, use that one an awful lot all year round. And the next one, which I'm actually tying at the minute in this up length box, is an LWG. And that for me, I've got them here, I've emptied them out there, look. Should, get a, should get a white surface really, shouldn't I? I can see them. Um... That for me, a little bit thicker wire, a lot stronger, um, but that comes into play when you're hooking an odd bigger fish. So some big bream we were catching at Medlands recently, hooking F1s and an odd carp, that kind of thing, when you're fishing shallow with maggots, that's when I'd use an LWG. Um, and generally, I don't really use anything more than about 011, sometimes 013 for that silver fishy springtime commercial fishing for uplands. The only thing I'd like to say is anything really light or wintery, I try and use fluorocarbon. I think that it ties up lovely. It's got a little bit of weight to it and adds to stability. Apparently fish can't see it as well. I've never spoke to a roach <laughs> or a skimmer, um, but all I'll say is it's definitely not a disadvantage. And since I've been using fluorocarbon for hook lengths for finesse fishing, I've caught loads and loads of fish. Above O10, I just use our copolymer line it's engaged and it's just bulletproof stuff you'll be amazed oh 11 well you've used it frankie at all craft a lot you hook carp on your silverfish rigs and you can't snap the stuff with balance gear it's brilliant um and at the minute i'm just topping up my lwg hook length box i got a little bit short of six inch to 011 this weekend so i'm just filling that pin up just there um and as you can see what I've got for this time of year is three different length hook lengths of each size. So I have 18s and 16s in this box. Yeah. 18s to 010, um, which is fluorocarbon. And I have them um, four inch and six inches. I don't ever use a three inch in fluorocarbon. And then stepping up to 011 N gauge, I have three inch, four inch and six inch. The reason I have three inch when I step up to 011 is because I might use them for shallow fishing. Mm. And if I'm shallow fishing, it's aggressive, so I'm only going to use 011 for that. So I have three, four, and six. And then the 16s, I have three, four, and six. And then the 16s, again, 010, fluorocarbon, and 011, engage, three, four, and six to 011 as well. And that up length box, there's a load of rooks in it, but it's super versatile. Covers my 18s and 16s. LWGs for all me sort of springtime commercial silverfish slash f one e mixed species work. Brilliant. Well, can you tie me a hook? Of course, can show everyone the processes. So I'm doing 18 to 11 at the minute. Big weight, very important. Stick it on your spool. Ain't gonna move anywhere. You can work very very easily. This is really quirky. I always remember when I first learned how to use these hook ties. I sort of self taught myself on. Um, the front step of my mum and dad's house and I always remember if the points of the hook tire are pointing away from me and the point of the hook is pointing away from me like so let me get can you see that Hang on, let me get yeah, right. I always remember if that's the case and I nip that hook in there so the point of the hook's facing away from me that way and the yeah. points of the hook tire are facing away from right. me that way when I then wrap the line don't matter how I hold this hook tire when I wrap this line around, so I go round the back of it, like so. Yeah. Back round the front. And as you can see, when I start to twist, can you see that line naturally lays at the front? Can you see it there, look? I'm not pushing it to the front myself. 
things twisted around. Try and see it a bit better. That's better. You see that? Yeah. When I come round, look, it naturally lays at the front. You see yeah, that? Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not twisting that line around. It's already no. coming, coming out of the front. And the only other thing I do a bit different is I wrap from the top up here. I do one little wrap and then come back down the hook. So I'm oh, yeah, actually yeah. wrapping down that shank. And I just feel like that traps the line and you don't get any sort of slipping or anything when you wrap down like that. I think it's really important. A little bit of the magical saliva and then gently pull it through. And it should all, with, with engage, it just all tightens up lovely anyway. Mm. The only thing I do is I nip that off nice and short already there, so I don't have to drag loads of line through it. And there you go. I pull that back off. Sort of hold on to the tag end and the hook and give it a good old yank. Like it. Like so. And as you can see there, the beauty about that wrapping down the shank is the tag end lies. It lies low, there's no kinks or anything in that line, it's perfectly straight, no damage to it. Um, but that tag end of the hook lies lovely and flat yep. against the shank of the hook. I hate it when you have a, I call them a tickler. A tickler? Uh, but like, the, you see some people's hooks and the line pops up off the side and it's all, yeah, well, do you get what I mean? You can see there that line, like the tag ends, just tucked away. Lovely lines coming out the front of the spade. Yeah, it's hiding, isn't it? Very important to come out the front. You hit a lot more bites. Perfectly tied up, in my opinion, mate. That one's to O eleven, um, and I'm going to do that one six inches long because I ain't got many of them. Now, what I'd normally do, Tang, if you want a little efficiency tip, is I always tie all my hooks, put them to one side. Tie yeah. another hook, put them to one side. Obviously, Blue Peter style, and today's purposes, I'm just going to show you. Um, I feel like it can be a bit more efficient and do them a bit quicker that yeah. way. Use these hook pins, so the end pins in our stealth boxes are longer than all the others. You see them? There we go. And they've got a little little hook around the back there. Yeah. Very, very handy. Hook over one end. Let, wrap the line round the other end there. See it? So it's mm. looped around. And then nip it there like so. You got that? Yeah. And then I just flick the hook off here, like just lift him off like that. And keep hold of this line. So you've got it there. Yep. Yeah. Got that line. Staying as that same length. As long as you keep that nipped tight, give it a little bit of sliver. And this is again, it's a weird quirky what mat way. I hold my line like that. Yeah. And I use this loop tire to tie a loop. Now, whatever way you want to do it, you can. As long as you've nipped that line from when it was in that hook box, like I just showed you, yeah. it will turn out the absolute perfect length. Trim that tag off, put it on the floor, and then when your missus hoovers up, it'll drive a bonkers when it clogs yeah. her hoover up. And then um, you just pop it in. And this is where it's probably going to be a totally different length and not fit. Oh no, look at that, absolutely perfect. Brilliant. She just fits over there. You ready to go for a weekend? Just repeat the process till it's full. I always thought you were going to say I want you to do it again then, Matt. But <laughs> absolutely no chance. Perfectly tied hook clamp. <laughs>